Welcome back. Let's uh, see what we can find out here in Casablanca. Wait a second, this house isn't white. It's more sort of yellowish. Um, <laughs> this little bit of alley always <laughs> gets me confused because you have to go in a zigzag to... Uh, get to the actual street. Ooh, one-way glass. Fancy. It's the reveal shot. Longest journey like to do that. And so does this game. Jardin de Rose. It's even less exciting than it sounds. Also appears to be written in Arabic, I think that is. And there's a post box. Once upon a time, people scribbled words on pieces of paper and dropped them into these boxes. Why they did that, no one knows. Apparently, historians are really, really stupid in the future. Okay, let's see what's down the street. You can look at the other post boxes, but the response is always the same. Ooh, random girl. Hello. Hey, Zoe, we still on for tonight? Definitely. We have the house to ourselves. Just bring a bottle of wine and a date. Wine I can do, but a date? You just have to invite some more guys over. Me? I can't even find a good date for myself. We'll just have to make it a girl's night in then. Later. Want to talk to her more? See you tonight, Zoe. Not really. Carlita lives just down the street from me. I've known her for the longest time. Okay, see you later then. You can talk to a lot of random people here. Um, most of the time they'll just give you a little tidbit of information. I'll try to speak to as many people as I can. Looks uh, like a poster for one of these Wartilla things. So he has nothing to say about it. And who is that hey, over Zoe. there? And she knows us. Actually, we've seen her already, in the picture, in the bedroom. It's Olivia. Olivia DeMarco. Shopkeeper, genius, best friend. And she's eating something. Takeout from something. Morning, sweetie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hi, Liv. I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? No, I said before that it didn't make any difference if you took a long time, but this is something that does make a difference. If here you say you're not busy, if not not busy, sorry, and go inside with uh, with Liv and check what she's uh, she has to show you, then Jama will complain that you're late for the gym. If you say you're busy and go to the gym, even if you take an hour to get there, she won't complain. And I want to keep Jama happy, so. Uh, we'll have to deal with uh, what Liv has to show us later. I can't be late again. John was going to lecture me about my lack of commitment. Okay, sweetie. Later. You really need to see this. Sure. I'll pop in after I'm done. Mm, that's what I was talking about uh, earlier. When people go through doors or into buildings or whatever, they don't actually go into the building. They just vanish. And that's... It's, uh, it breaks the immersion. It breaks the illusion that this place is real. And it's, it's not a good thing to do. And I think it's something that the designers could just have... Uh, have paid a little bit more uh, attention to. It may seem like a little thing, but it's just... It breaks the illusion, and it's therefore a bad thing.
Could have just animated them going into the building properly. Doesn't need to look great, just better than uh, what they did now. We're now inside uh, some kind hey, of. Hey, Zoe! Oh! Hiya! Out for a jog? Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jammer won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. Alright, we'll see you there. Well, it's very convenient that she's also going to the gym, because in case you were wondering where it is, now you know, it's off that way. Well, she's fast, she's already out of sight. Let's look around a little bit here, because now we're in some kind of a plaza. It looks like there is a coffee shop here. Not Starbucks, though. Mocha Loco, my number one source of caffeine. I never look at the menu. I'm a single shot, low fat latte person. <laughs> we know this guy? Wow. I like his outfit. Way to go traditional. Apparently not. We can't talk to him, though. I can't decide what to get. Everything's so good here. Maybe a brownie? And we'll usually just uh, say some random stuff to you. Even though they might not know you at all. And that's okay here. Because uh, it's at least conceivable that they've seen each other before or whatever. But later in the game it gets a bit ridiculous when complete strangers in the middle of nowhere are telling you their life story. Hmm, I should be watching my weight. My wife started complaining. Wow, I like his outfit. Way to go. Wow. Oh, can't talk to him again. Because he's leaving, apparently. Let's see who the barista is here. I'm trouble selecting her, though. I never look at the menu. Karen's my favorite barista. I have a favorite barista. I need to cut back on the coffee. <laughs> Yet we never see her actually drink coffee in the entire game, despite all this uh, talk about it. What are those, are those prices in dollars or what? Twenty-five dollars for a cafe latte seems a bit high. Steamed milk with vanilla, tea, green or black, bingo cola. Ooh, the Bingo Corporation is still around. They were in the last game as well. Ask us about our selection of of cakes and cookies. It changes daily. Seems like a nice place. Let's see if we can talk to the Rista. She should know us at least if we come here that often. Hey, what's up? Not much. I'm on my way to the gym. Again? I'm impressed. You're there almost every day, aren't you? I have a lot of time on my hands. Lucky you. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't feel particularly lucky. I just feel like I'm wasting time. I thought you were going back to, what was it, Cape Town University. I was. I might. I just don't know if school's the right thing for me at this point. That sounds pretty pathetic, doesn't it? I guess this is what they call going through a phase. At least, I hope it's just a phase. We all have those. You'll be fine. I hope so. Anyway, thanks, Karen. See you later. All right. Um, let's see. Anything else we can look at here? Oh, the newspapers. The new issue of Eons has an article about the collapse. I should check that out at some point. Except you can't. <laughs> They don't have Bioneering Monthly, or Kasawi Fashion, so I'm not interested. Can we talk to you? If you want to make a lot of money, there's no better place than Casablanca. Okay, thanks for the tip. The free flow of capital attracts all kinds of people to Casablanca. Rich people. My kind of people. You see, it's totally logical that you'd be saying this kind of things to a random stranger on the street. I do that all the time. Uh, when I meet people at the station or whatever, or when I'm going shopping, I tell them things like this. Really? 
I'm never leaving Casablanca. Not unless I find something better. And most of them have exactly three things to say before they loop around. If you want to make a lot of money, there's no better place than Casablanca. See? Well, it's a little be better than the one line of text. Welcome to Corneria. I like swords. See if anybody gets that reference. We'll continue in the next video.